Hi everyone, I'm really excited to give you all an update on my 15 and 15. So my goal for 2015, with in addition to my project polish and my um, different seasonal challenges, I really wanted to use up 15 makeup products. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm not gonna lie. I mentioned this in my project polish video that I just did. I'll link that down below. I'm just kind of hitting a wall. Um, I actually haven't worn makeup in about a week, partly because I've been crazy, crazy busy with school. And tomorrow night, my dad's coming to pack everything up, and I'm moving. So I need to pack every. No, I'm packing everything up. He's gonna throw it in a truck. He and my little brother are. So I need to get on that. I just have a lot going on. I don't like the way my eyebrows look at all. Whatever. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like between that and the fact that I've been using the same products for so long, I've lost some inspiration. So, I am working on these. I have used, made some progress, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure. I think I might take a break for like a month or so and really delve into my makeup. I haven't done a monthly favorites in two months, and I love doing those. But I've been using the exact same stuff, so it would be very exciting for you guys. But all of that aside, I'm going to go ahead and start this video. Um, so one product I did totally use up, and it's my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Uh, I started right here. I went to there, and now I'm gone. I usually do these updates about once every two months or so. I wanted to do it before I moved because I didn't want to move this. Like... This is the way my brain works, in case you were interested. I'm like, this is kind of heavy. Like, it's a lot heavier than, like, a powder or something, you know? So to get this out of my thing, it's so much lighter. That's kind of also how I feel about um, nail polishes. You know, they're so heavy. Like, just the packaging and glass and stuff. So now I have one big thing out of my collection. Now when you consider how heavy this... Because Alex drawers are, like, 60 pounds with nothing in them. They're so heavy. So with all the makeup in it, it's not really making that much of a difference, but, you know, that's what I tell myself. Alright, so that's the only thing I have totally used up. Everything else I have been using a lot. Um, this smash, let me go to the things, can you, you know, I've dropped them in every time. I feel a little off. I haven't been filming very much because, again, I've just been really busy, but it'll get back to normal. I promise, guys. Um, this Smashbox High Definition Concealer. I don't know it's I know the thing is see-through I know that like the tube but you can't see any progress but I've used it every single day so I mean that's kind of disappointing because I've been using it quite a bit and I tried to like squeeze it down to the bottom and I got to like the exact same spot that my line was at the very beginning so this is frustrating and I don't like it at all I don't like the way it looks under my eyes I feel like, um, I don't know if you can, it's like picking up, but I feel like my under eyes look like I'm like 765 years old. So, don't love this. But, we're getting through it. Getting it out of my collection. I've had it for way too long. Alright, these two you also can't tell. Um, this is the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm. The balm was gone. It fell out the first time I used it. This lip stain, I think it is drying out a little bit. It's a pretty brownie burgundy kind of color but the issue is it picks itself up and it applies really patchy and it doesn't look good on the lips but I've been putting other stuff over it and I've been kind of layering it and so I've definitely been making some progress it's a marker I mean like it's like Crayola magic marker kind of thing but I've been making progress so I'm hoping to get that gone this guy I don't think will be around that much longer. It's the Punker Ardency and Eyeliner. Look at how fat this thing is. It's like taking a again like a Sharpie and just like meh, except it's not that pigmented. Like right now as you can see it's pretty pretty gray. So I have to go over it quite a bit to get a nice black line and even now I don't feel like it's that black and dark. So I think this is kind of on its last legs which is exciting. Alright everything oh this guy so I took the stopper out uh, this is the Too Faced lip insurance I should probably tell you that and now I get too much product I wasn't getting any and now I get too much so I have to like scrape it off and it kind of makes my lips a little sticky so I don't know I was really loving it I even put it in a favorites I guess it was must have been my February favorites because that was the last favorites I did um, 
so it's kind of sticky and I, I'm not too crazy about it right now but we'll see what happens sorry it's hot hot in Florida all right um next thing we're gonna do let's just go as far as now because everything you can see progress oh well this is my eyebrow pencil as you can see it gives you quite a bold brow I don't really like the way it turned out today but what are you gonna do um I have this much when I started I had five top lengths and now I have about one and a half and I think that this will be gone um, before my next update which will probably be in like July ish if I had to guess before I move because I'm moving today or excuse me I'm moving on Monday today is Thursday and then I am moving again in August slash late July hopefully that's the plan at least um, still don't know what I'm doing isn't that fun but anyway, so I will definitely be doing an update before then because I didn't want to, I do not want to move trash. So hopefully that will be gone. I think it will be. Um, let's get to the lip products. This is weird because I think this is where I am, but it's hard to tell. I know that this is uh, a transparent bottle, and I get less and less each time I use it, obviously. Um, sometimes it feels like I'm about ready to take out the stopper. Sometimes it feels like I'm not, so I don't know. But it's a purple lip gloss from Lorac. It's in the shade Rock. It's not very opaque. It smells delicious, but it's a little sticky. I have a whole bunch of these. I got a whole set. They it always comes out whole look. I wouldn't recommend you buy it, but you know. Um, next is this Bare Minerals. It's not a marvelous moxie gloss. It's just a regular gloss in the shade Cupcake. I started there, got to there. Now I'm right here. I really wanted to use this up before I left, but obviously that did not happen. I've been using um, a different one, which you'll see mainly. So, this is very thick and kind of sticky. There it is. It's a peachy nude color. I really like it though. Um, I have a backup, which is why I hate, which is why I will never buy a backup again, because I wouldn't repurchase this now. But I bought a backup when I originally got it, so, you know. But there it is. I like it okay. Um, making some progress. That'll definitely be gone before the end of the year. I felt like, oh, a year is so long. I'll definitely get all this done. But now I'm kind of like, I don't know. Hopefully I will, though. This is the Son Sonia Kashuk Satin Luxe Tinted Lip Balm in the shade 42, hint of pink. That's all I've got left. This is what I wear pretty much every day. It's a nice hot pink shade. It's very buildable. It is on my lips as I just showed you, but see it's buildable, but it's not a lipstick. It's definitely a lip balm and kind of um, not very opaque is what I meant to say. But uh, I don't know. It's sometimes it's patchy. I know that it seems like I don't like most of these products, but that's why I put them in this um, because I didn't love it and I wanted to get through it because like things that are my very favorite I already use. But that's kind of why I'm also having an issue because I think while I did that, I'm also like, I love a lot of things, and I'm just sitting in the collection doing nothing. I don't know. I feel like I'm being really negative in this video. I'm kind of off, but I'm just going to be honest with you guys. And plus, I've got a lot going on. All right, next, we have the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. I've been using this all around the perimeter and then down my neck pretty much every single day. And now I can use it a little bit more because the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation was a little dark for me. Um, but these are now a little bit light because I have gotten, a, even though my chest is still super white and like Casperly, um, I've got a little bit tan. It's, you know, 80 and 90 degrees here in good old Florida. But here's my progress. So I did have a, you can see kind of barely, I've made quite a bit of progress on this, but I've been working on this for so, so, so long. I don't like it. Like, swatched on my finger, it looks nice, but then you put it on my actual skin, and it, it's orange. And I just don't like the way it looks. I mean, again, it's all around my perimeter and down to my decollete area. But it's just, I wouldn't repurchase it. I know that it's really cheap, but again, my opinion is, just because something's cheap doesn't mean it's worth having. This is another thing that is so many people's favorite powder from the drugstore. And I think it's just because of my skin type. It's Thermal Stay Matte. I don't like the packaging at all. Um, 
but there you go quite a bit of progress on this so oh you can barely see it maybe if I flip it over no that doesn't help so this faint grayish line was where I was and now this darker black one is where I am now. I've made quite a bit of progress on it and I've been using it a lot obviously every day I wear makeup but it just doesn't meld into my skin like I would like. It kind of sits on top of it weird um, but I think I can definitely get through it which is what matters. Alright then I have one eye or one cheek product and I've made a lot of progress on this blush. That little tiny dot is where I was, and now I'm all the way here. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo in the same St. Lucia. You can see, I hope y'all, I hope, I think you can tell, that you can literally see the lines in the pan. But still, no actual pan on the bronzer. I've been using it as my contour every day. I like this, but it can come off a little blotchy. I think for the $3 price tag, it's okay, but um, there are definitely better things out there. And last but certainly not least are my eye products. I think this is the worst part for me because I love eyeshadow. It's my favorite. Um, and I've been stuck with these three, but I'm going to branch out. I'm just going to have to. This is the Ulta Baked Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Sweet Dreams. So I use this browner shade in my crease every single day. It's a very cool tone. It's got some blue veining in it, actually. But it's really pretty, and I use it um, kind of to blend out into my crease every day. And then this pinky shade I have on my lid today. And it's nice. It's a little chunky and powdery. It doesn't show up super well. It's right there. Like I said, it doesn't show up super well. But I hope y'all can tell I made a huge dent in the um, brown side. I really think I will hopefully be hitting pan before my next update and then the pink side I've made some progress it was a big domed product you can see in the middle where it started out so I've made some progress on that which is helpful you know seeing progress is exciting it's just when you get to where you're like all right I have a whole chest of drawers full of makeup let me use some of it you know that's kind of where I am right now but anyway Next, I have this Almay Shadow Softies. Last update, I was like, I could hit pan on this pretty soon. And I have. I've actually hit quite a bit of pan. So, this is weird. It's like a gel. It's, um, I hope you can move it around in the pan. If you, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. It doesn't look like I'm just pushing it. Um, so, I don't know. It takes a lot to build it up which is why I've probably used it quickly. Um, but it's a nice deep purple. I use it in the outer uh, corner a lot, slash like outer third of my lid. So I do like it, uh, but it's too much work. I wouldn't recommend getting these. Nobody likes them as far as I can tell, but there's a lot of progress. So this might be the first eye product to go. And this is exciting. I this is the one thing I love. It's my revealed to palette sampler, and I hit pan actually today. You can see. Um, so that shade right here is my favorite. And I'm using it on the outer corner and a little bit in the crease today, as well as this darker brown. It's so interesting. It's a brown shimmery shade, but on the lids, it's just got a little bit of pink in it. And the real revealed to palette is more of their pink toned palette, so that does make sense. Um, but it really does show up on the eyes. I just think it's really pretty. Um, this gold shade I've used a little bit. Same with this copper. This brown is probably my second most used. And once um, that eyebrow pencil is gone, I'm going to use the deeper brown in my eyebrows. So we've got a pretty gold. I mean, they're all really nicely pigmented. And I do think that I will end up buying this palette. Like the full size. But... I hit pan on it so that's one good thing so that's all I have for you today I know it seems like I'm off and I feel off I just I think I'm just stressed out to be honest I've got to move and I don't want to I love where I live I love it a lot um, but hopefully something better will come up so thank you so much for watching um, let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you're doing something like this I really like these you know 
project pan kind of videos um i've just kind of hit a wall right now but it is this year was the first time i've ever done anything like this and i do feel like i may have bitten off a little bit more than i could chew but um i hope you enjoyed that i'm sorry if i seem off i really i really am sorry i don't feel right um but anyway i'll see y'all real soon bye